27 inch scale. The body's not bigger though, like the real bucket head. <clears throat> Rovers. Here's a loop of open cords. Pickups, uh, pots are actually good. Pill switches aren't bad. Mostly fretwork is what it needs. So there's a couple of weird things. So these are real. And you can definitely tell the difference between the real and the <laughs> So, but after a complete rework, you can see how it sounds. Probably in the Not really. I mean, it looks like some kind of rose water suit or rose water. Threads are pretty good. Uh, it's kind of a weird thing with the neck, too. It's not twisted. If it stands up to say a number in Epiphone, because I have suspicions about what these may be coming from. With the, the grub retainers, it's got the same fake grub retainers that Paul does. The finish reminds me of an Epiphone. I'm not saying it came from there, but it's all the size. But I mean, it doesn't hold a candle to say that standard there. It's, you can pick them up and tell. People that say, oh, they're, just, they're not, they can't be. They're not made out of the same material. It's just. Get close, but I've learned through about a hundred guitars starting out at low budget one hundred dollar guitars all the way up to these. They're not. There's a reason things cost what they do. Uh, the only question is, is that important? It may not be. And if it is, fine. I mean, I'm not hating on anybody for whatever they play. Came from playing a hundred dollar Washington line, you know, so and I made it work. So play what you got, but uh, there's bizarre myths that are perpetuated from I think inexperience. You know, uh, but once I played those guitars to the guitars I got now, there's a certain difference. But anyway, this is part one, part two is coming after a rework. It, it'll be more in depth.